Hello and welcome to the Southern Bell Channel. This is Show and Tell with Southern Bell, the auction preview show, where we will show items that I am going to offer up for auction on Saturday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. And if there is something you like and you're not going to be able to attend the auction, you can absolutely always leave me an absentee bid, and I'll be glad to help you out with that. Or even if there's something that you want to just buy directly, you can always make me an offer I can't refuse. So, without further ado, les bon temps rouler, let the good times roll. And with Easter only being a couple of weeks away, I have some Easter merchandise. Some of it is brand new and some of it was my mother's treasures that she would bring out. But I don't really do any entertaining anymore. So therefore, um, I thought that I would start to sell some of these things off. Um, they are not something you could just go to the store and find anymore. They were things that she collected. And you'll notice that many of them have kind of a southern feel to them or an antebellum feel to them. So, as well as some whimsy. And she loved topiaries. And she had um, topiaries in two different styles. And what I like about these is that it has subtle colors. Um, she was a lady whose favorite color was green. Her second favorite color was yellow. So throughout her house, she has a lot of yellow and green stuff. And usually for Easter, you see a lot of pink and purple. And um, so I thought it was interesting that she had uh, these egg topiaries, but yet she found them in yellow, green, and a peach color. Um, I think they're both new, although the one with the round topiary I see still has the tag on it. This is not merely a figurine or a statue, but this is porcelain. And let me show you what's really interesting about it is you see that there are some cutouts here, 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 here. Um, when you turn it around, there's a place for a candle. And it's actually a light up situation because you can see that it's going to light up through these little uh, windows. have seen this cute little antebellum bunny during my battle with Belle. Let's take a closer look at the beautiful umbrella. Let's look at this sweet face. Let's look at the clothing, the bows, the ribbons. Look at this cute little purse with these rosettes in it. Um, even look at the back and the clothing. This is just such a fancy, oh look, that even the roses on top of the ears, I just love how fancy this is. Oh, and you know what? It could also be a tree topper if you do an Easter tree. But you're saying, why would this southern belle of a bunny be by herself? She would need an escort or a chaperone. Well, it's actually a set. How cute is that? So here's either her beau, or maybe this is her dad, could even be her husband or her little brother. So let me move her back. So it can actually be a set. And let me show you a close up. Here is his dapper hat. And look at his little ruffled shirt from the time. And he's got his walking cane. Um, he's got a man bag with some, I'm not sure what that is in there. And he's got this handsome coat on. Here's a back where you get to look at the garments. Here's his little face. So, so cute. The little ears, the little face. They're a handsome couple, a handsome family. Get them straight. There we go. So super cute. 
guess I should put it this way because it looks like the fear is bent. But that's just the way it's styled. Do you think that was the only southern styled bunny I had? Look at this sweet little face. These long ears. This is like a ceramic porcelain kind of thing holding the bunny. And look at this lovely long dress. Here's the pedestal. But you're saying, oh, what are you going to do with just one tall bunny? She looks alone and sad. But aha, I have another. So look at the pretty pink dress. Look at the beautiful parasol. This bunny is holding an Easter basket with eggs. Once again, the beautiful pedestal. So look, it's a set of two. Where else are you going to find these? These are styled like no other. I don't know how long my mother had these. I don't know what the brand or the maker was. I just remember seeing them for a long time on display. And she always teased me that one of these was me and one of these was my sister. Some of y'all might be saying, you had another ceramic porcelain figurine. How many of these could you possibly have had? Well, she did have a lot. Spoiler alert. I know things nowadays are mostly plastic, uh, but my mother liked things that were old-fashioned. But this isn't merely a figurine. Look what it is. And look what it plays. Do you recognize the tune? I believe it's called Easter Parade. Did you know they made music boxes specifically for Easter? I knew they made some for Christmas, but I did not know that they made them for Easter until um, I saw my mother with this one. Here is the next item. It's this beautiful ceramic um, dish, or maybe it's a candy dish, and it is printed all the way around. And the best part about it is it has a top. This is the beautiful lid. You'll see how it matches. Here's how it looks with the lid on end. Always nice when you can find the matching lid. Next, I have this huge and glorious iridescent egg. You know, you might not can see it because it's white on a white wall. Let me put some colored paper behind it. Hopefully this will allow you to see it. It's a big sheet of construction paper. Or let me see if I maybe have a different color here that might be better. Um, here's a brown piece. So that way you can see just how big the egg is. And hopefully you can see the wonderful glaze and finish on it. Here's another precious little bunny. But this comes up. And look, inside you could put a little treat. Imagine putting a little piece of candy in there. Maybe you put a little ring, a little bracelet. There it goes. So cute. And to have a place where you could hide a surprise, even better. Who loves sheep? I know sometimes we get all into the bunnies and the chick. But I think that sheep are super cute for Easter or for every day as well. This one has a fabulous Sherpa fur right here. And let's turn it around. And you can see the back is just as gorgeous with these swirls. And you get to see both the fur of the hair on the head and the cute little tail. Just darling. I've got some sweet little blue bunny dishes. Or maybe these are supposed to be shaped like peeps. I'm not quite sure. 
Here's a super cute Easter wreath that has kind of a craftsy feel to it with the way that they made the butterflies and the bunnies and the flowers such vibrant and fun colors. In addition to Easter items, I'll have plenty of everyday items. Look at this fun troll set. And it's even got the little troll on the top. And what is it? Well, you can see it is headphones. And the great thing about these children's headphones is it has a parental volume limiter for hearing protection. It has an adjustable headband. It has pivoting ear cushions for maximum comfort. And it will connect to any audio device. But that's not the only headphone I have. I also have this Kids Safe headphone that says Approved by Mom, Safe for Kids. And it's also another volume limiting headphone with a maximum vol volume of 85 dB. And it shows you how they work right here. It's got comfort ear padding, adjustable length, low decibel limitations and then it says there's a frequency response speaker size um, and all of this other stuff which i can't really tell you much about but i did try both these headphones and the last headphones and they both work who needs a cute gift set look at this one it is cucumber melon scented still has the two from tag on it. You'll see it's also got some of that um, kind of artisan soap bar. It's got a um, poof and you can see, oh here's the back where it lists everything. And it comes with what they call a letter holder which will be nice container after um, your recipient uses all of these bath products then they can use this as a mail holder, although I think it would be great for its intended purpose um, to hold bath products. Anybody like conspiracies? Well, I've got this amazing book that will um, talk you through the greatest plots, collusions, and cover-ups. You can see on the cover we've got Nixon, we've got the moon landing, Roswell, JFK, but that is just the beginning. Let's look at the table of contents here. You can see an expose on the Russian influence with Donald Trump, Wikileaks, Snowden, um, we'll skip down here to the Illuminati, Secrets of the Catholic Church. Uh, down here we've got Flying Saucers, Men in Black, Moon Landing, Adolf Hitler, Did He Escape, Bombing of Pearl Harbor, Watergate, the Tuskegee Experiment, the Waco Incident, Who Shot JFK, Marilyn Monroe, Princess Diana, Jonestown Massacre, John Lennon, and even the shooting of Tupac and Biggie. So tons of conspiracies, plots, collusions, and cover-ups. Look at this fancy apothecary glass jar set. Now, it actually only has two of the three pieces, but they are in perfect order. Here is the, the tops. Underneath, you will see the glass jar here. Show you the glass jar here. So, two out of three isn't bad, and it's a nice matching set. So, this will be offered either Saturday or Sunday for your bidding pleasure. Now, keep in mind, at both auctions, I will start and end with Bell's Bargain Bonanza Round, where every item starts at $1, and we lower the regular $1 bidding increments down to only 50 cents. So, those items, I keep a secret until the auction, but they will be great bargains. I hope to see everybody Saturday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, and 
on Tuesday at 2 p.m., I'm going to have a pop-up gardening auction number two. Since the first one was so successful, and I didn't get a chance to show y'all everything I had um, in the gardening and outdoor living genre, I'm going to have a second one. Um, most of it will be new merchandise. There will be a few things that were passed on that I will lower the price and bring back to see if anybody is interested in. So I hope you also join me Tuesday at 2 p.m. Central Standard Time. And you know what I always say, laissez bon temps rouler. Let the good times roll, roll in your life, roll in your heart, roll in your soul. Roll on and on and on. May God bless you. Bye-bye.